Hello, this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I am going to talk about uh, uh, flatbed grounding. Grounding is a very important uh, uh, principle and topic. Grounding principles are also used in dry docking. So we must understand grounding very well. Like what is this grounding like? We are talking about the flatbed grounding. That means there is an even flatbed on which the ship is going to run aground. Here's the ship. What is grounding first of all? How is it different from uh, say stranding or beaching? Grounding is a technical phenomenon. Grounding means the ship's hull touches the uh, seabed. Just the touch. The touch is such that I can uh, uh, clear a blade from in between. Touching means if there was an electric current it would pass on the ship. But there is no force exerted. There is no force exerted neither by the ship downwards nor by the ground upward as reaction. So it is just about touching. So this uh, 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 this particular phenomenon is also called lightly aground. So as I was saying, beaching means intentional grounding and stranded or stranding means once you have grounded, you are not able to come out by the normal means, uh, uh, extraordinary means will have to be employed to refloat the vessel, that is a uh, stranded. Now uh, this ship, as you see, is uh, lightly aground, that means the aft draft Half draft is same as the depth over there. When the tide falls, upon fall of the tide, what is going to happen is the following things. Number one, the draft reduces. And as the tide falls, more and more weight will be exerted on the seabed. And whatever is the weight exerted on the seabed, same will be the uh, ground reaction upwards that means the ground reaction upwards which was zero at lightly a ground will start growing or we can say ground reaction or p that is up thrust is on the increase uh, it is uh, to be understood as if the ground reaction p was a kind of weight that is placed there and that weight is discharged from here now what happens if you had a weight called P over here and it is discharged because the weight is discharged from the keel position what will happen is the virtual GM will uh, reduce or G will move upwards. What else happens when you uh, uh, discharge the weight from a position that is aft there will be a trim change forward. So everything that happens by discharging of the weight in a position, everything that happens to the ship will happen in case of grounding. So in case of grounding, you will see as the tide falls, the draft decreases, the trim changes forward wise, the ground reaction increases, the virtual rise of G is seen and the GM reduces. So let us say after some times, this is the water level. And this is the new position of the ship which I have shown in the red color and the new water line. Let us try to understand uh, how to find out at what draft the ship will sit all over because this principle is also used in dry docking. So, whenever there is a flatbed grounding or dry docking, the first thing that I want to know is what is the fall of water level required for the ship to sit all over. So, we'll work on that. Suppose the initial draft was forward uh, 7 meters, aft was 9 meters. So, what do you think how much fall of tide will be required for the ship to sit? Is it 2 meters? No, it is not 2 meters. What is happening as the ship sits? 
from the initial lightly a ground condition to just sitting all over what happens what is the change that happens the change that happens is trim change is equal to 2 meters initial trim was 2 meters and as the ship sits all over the trim change is 2 meters so we have to catch the the correct a phenomenon that is happening we cannot say that the change of draft or fall of tide is 2 meter no what we observe from the free floating condition till the ship sitting all over there is a trim change of 2 meters now this trim change is caused because of growing p and what is the distance of p from the center of rotation this is called lever lcf so can i say p into lcf is a trimming moment p into lcf is trimming moment and divide by 100 mctc should be equal to trim change and this should be equal to 2 meters so here you have this equation whether it is a flat bed grounding or dry docking the first ever formula you should apply is p into lcf uh, divide by 100 mctc is equal to trim change so let us see what happens how much is uh, the p for this so can i say uh, using this formula i can find out p in turns which is equal to 2 into 100 into mctc upon lcf right so if i want to find out p it will be 2 that is a trim change into 100 mctc divided by lcf so let us say uh, the ships uh, uh, i have told you what is the draft forward 7 aft 9 let us say that the length of the ship is 160 meters lcf is equal to 75 meters tpc let us say is 30 and mc let us say is 280. So substituting uh, these values I get P equal to 2 into 100 into 280 divided by LCF that is 75. 746.7 tons. So this will be the growth of ground reaction from 0 uh, it grows to 746.7 tons so it is also as if the ship is free floating and we discharge a weight from here whose value the weight that is discharged is 746.7 tons now what we have to do is we have to apply standard trim format I explained you uh, standard trim format in my previous lecture in the standard trim format let us say that the forward draft and aft draft were uh, 7.000 and 9.000 there will be a bodily rise equivalent to this 746.66 divided by 100 tpc gives me 0 0.249 0 0.249 0 0.249 so uh, the drafts will become 8.751 here, 6.751 over here. So if the total trim change is 2 meters, what is TRA? That is the component of change of draft aft. So it will be 2 into LCF that is 75 equal to divided by the length of the vessel that is 160 gives me 0 0.937 0 0.937 or 938 and what is the change of draft forward that is 1.062 1.062 the forward and aft drafts are going to be 7.813 now it is like a magic the forward and the aft draft they are same they are same because the trim is going to be zero our basis of calculation is the trim from two meters has got changed to trim equal to zero now one golden rule i would like to tell all the mariners now this particular principle is very important for every mariner particularly 
to use in the case of grounding of the vessel, refloating of the vessel or dry docking for that matter. And that is the change of draft at point of contact, the ship is contacting aft. Change of draft at point of contact, let me see how much it is. One point one eight seven. The change of draft at point of contact is equal to fall of tide. Fall of tide or rise of tide. This is a very important principle. Because in case the ship gets grounded anywhere, and it might be a flatbed grounding, it may be forward grounding, aft grounding, or uh, somewhere. Uh, uh, in intermediate position on a pinnacle but this golden rule will never change and the golden rule is change of draft change of draft is to be monitored at a point where the ship is touching the seabed because that is what that is the only thing that will give you the fall of tide some uh, candidates uh, in a hurry they might uh, uh, you know do the miscalculation and they might believe that change of hydrostatic draft is rise or fall of tide no Change of hydrostatic draft is not to be remembered as rise or fall of tide. But this golden rule will never change. Change of draft at point of contact is rise or fall of tide. Also, we have found out one thing. Although the trim change was 2 meters, it is just 1.187 meters fall of tide or fall of water level that caused the entire ship to set. So this principle can also be used in dry docking. In dry docking a ship, one of the first formulae that ever should be used is this formula that is P into LCF is equal to trim change into 100 MCTC. P into LCF is the trimming moment, right? This trimming moment is uh, uh, equal to trim change into 100 MCTC. In dry dock, there is a similar thing that happens like uh, there is a point at which the stern takes the block and that point can be considered as uh, a start of critical period. At the start of critical period, just the beginning of critical period, the up thrust or the ground reaction is equal to zero. During the critical period, this ground reaction grows further, right? Like in this case, it uh, went up to uh, more than 700 tons. This ground reaction grows and at the same time, uh, what happens is the ship becomes more and more, the ship loses the stability more and more. There is a virtual loss of GM, right? And by the time the ship sits all over, that is the total trim that the ship had changed to uh, zero, this entire period is called critical period. So critical period starts when the stern just takes the block till the ship sits all over. And the last part of the critical period is called critical instant or critical moment just before the ship takes the blocks all over. So this might be the most vulnerable moment uh, in the dry docking process. We will do the dry docking in some other session. Mm -hmm.